All I have spoken of during my life as a photographer has passed through a lens. The lens of my camera. That of my own life. I grew up in the northeast in the 80s. When I went to art school, the first time I was given a camera, I went back and photographed the people I'd worked with since I was 16. The visual references of pop culture from the 1960s up until that point have informed my visual language. I always had an interest in people. I've never felt like a voyeur. My photographs embrace a wider world, a bigger spectrum. It's hectic and it's messy. I'm invested in these moments because it's a continuation of my own experience. The picture can transport you. It takes you on a journey through a lens. You can enter into an intimate moment, common moments we've all experienced or are about to. Music is like a medicine for me. The most exciting moments I've photographed still combine music and style. From Northern Soul to Garage, kids making grime in East London, the next generation of British artists and upstarts. Skateboarding, the act is a definitive moment. Just like capturing a picture. I first knew about CP in the 80s. I was a casual for around five minutes in 1986. We always like to look good and CP with relevant men. There are new genres developing and CP will always be there. Fashion is over in a minute. Style will be around forever. Brighton has always had a strong connection to an alternative counterculture. It gave me the opportunity to pursue photography in the way I wanted. And it gave my son a place to explore and grow. My boy Kuba has always been philosophical. I think brave because of it. What can a young man know of the wider world? It's not what he knows, it's more the way he thinks. And I admire his approach to his own life. We burn it down, we start again. We we'll look to the future. It's about a journey. It's about making new work, new pictures.